Hello, everyone. I'd like to welcome you again to Saint, uh, to Our Lady of Sorrows Church in Elmer. We're going to, in a moment, begin the Stations of the Cross, as we know, an ancient uh, Lenten tradition, to walk the Via Della Rosa, those last steps of our Lord, as he made his way from Pontius Pilate all the way to his crucifixion and to the tomb. We invite you, we're going to be praying the uh, Stations, the Way of the Cross by St. Alphonsus Liguri. Um, if you have a copy at home, wonderful. And if not, I, they're very, uh, can be found easily on the um, on a website and to follow along. Again, there are parts for the uh, priest and the people and uh, Father Graham will be uh, leading us with the people parts uh, in the background. And so again, we just ask you to join us and there's much we can pray for during the stations to offer many intentions, uh, as we know where our minds and hearts are filled with many thoughts and prayers for the people, our parishioners, the world, our governments, our medical staff, and all these people. Let's keep them close to us as we now begin to make, to walk this path of sorrow, but ultimately a path of compassion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. My Lord Jesus Christ, you have made this journey to die for me with unspeakable love. And I have so many times ungratefully abandoned you. But now I love you with all my heart. And because I love you, I am sincerely sorry for ever having offended you. Pardon me, my God, and permit me to accompany you on this journey. You go to die for love of me. I want my beloved Redeemer to die for love of you. My Jesus, I will live and die always united to you. At the cross her station keeping Stood the mournful mother weeping Close to Jesus at the last. The first station. Pilate condemns Jesus to die. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus Christ, after being scourged and crowned with thorns, was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. My adorable Jesus, it was not Pilate. No, it was my sins that condemned you to die. I beseech you by the merits of this sorrowful journey to assist my soul on its journey to eternity. I love you, my beloved Jesus. I love you more than I love myself. With all my heart, I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword has passed. The second station. Jesus accepts his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider Jesus as he walked this road with the cross on his shoulders, thinking of us and offering to his Father in our behalf the death he was about to suffer. My most beloved Jesus, I embrace all the sufferings you have destined for me until death. I beg you, by all you suffered in carrying your cross, to help me carry mine with your perfect peace and resignation. I love you, Jesus, my love. I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Oh, how sad and sore distressed was the mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one. The third station. Jesus falls 
the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the first fall of Jesus. Loss of blood from the scourging and crowning with thorns had so weakened him that he could hardly walk. And yet he had to carry that great load upon his shoulders. As the soldier struck him cruelly, he fell several times under the heavy cross. My beloved Jesus, it was not the weight of the cross, but the weight of my sins which made you suffer so much. By the merits of this first fall, save me from falling into mortal sin. I love you, O my Jesus, with all my heart. I am sorry that I have offended you. May I never offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. The fourth station. Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the son met his mother on his way to Calvary. Jesus and Mary gazed at each other, and their looks became as so many arrows to wound those hearts which loved each other so tenderly. My most loving Jesus, by the pain you suffered in this meeting, grant me the grace of being truly devoted to your most holy mother. And you, my queen, who was overwhelmed with sorrow, obtain from me by your prayers a tender and a lasting remembrance of the passion of your divine son. I love you, Jesus, my love, above all things. I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, but then do with me as you will. Is there one who would not weep, whelmed in misery so deep, Christ, dear Mother, to behold? The fifth station. Simon helps carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how weak and weary Jesus was. At each step he was at the point of expiring, fearing that he would die on the way when they wished him to die the infamous death of the cross. They forced Simon of Cyrene to help carry the cross after our Lord. My beloved Jesus, I will not refuse the cross as Simon did. I accept and embrace it. I accept in particular the death that is destined for me with all the pains that may accompany it. I unite it to your death and I offer it to you. You have died for love of me I will die for love of you and to please you. Help me by your grace. I love you, Jesus, my love. I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain, in that mother's pain untold? The sixth station. Veronica offers her veil to Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the compassion of the holy woman, Veronica. Seeing Jesus in such distress, 
his face bathed in sweat and blood, she presented him with her veil. Jesus wiped his face and left upon the cloth the image of his sacred countenance. My beloved Jesus, your face was beautiful before you began this journey, but now it no longer appears beautiful and is disfigured with wounds and blood. Alas, my soul also was once beautiful when it received your grace in baptism, but I have since then disfigured it with my sins. You alone, my Redeemer, can restore it to its former beauty. Do this by the merits of your passion, and then do with me as you will. Ruse derided, curse defiled, she beheld her tender child. All with bloody scourges rent. The seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the second fall of Jesus under his cross renews the pain in all the wounds of the head and members of our afflicted Lord. My most gentle Jesus, how many times you have forgiven me and how many times I have fallen again and begun again to offend you. By the merits of the second fall, give me the grace to persevere in your love until death. Grant that in all my temptations, I may always have recourse to you. I love you, Jesus my love with all my heart. I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. 